Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik, a CPA and a certified QuickBooks Online expert. I work with clients throughout the U.S. on all of their QuickBooks Online needs. Learn more about me at QuickBooksOnlineExpert.com. I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways for getting around in QuickBooks Online and three main areas that you need to be aware of when working with QuickBooks. Select the gear icon. This is the area that deals primarily with the settings, lists, and tools for your company. So we have company settings, chart of accounts, products and services list, reconciling, managing users, and signing out. So think of the gear as your settings. Second area is the quick create menu. Click on this plus sign and click show more. This is where you add transactions. So this is the easiest way that I have found to add transactions into QuickBooks Online. Click on the plus, so think of, of that as adding transactions. And you can add transactions for customers, vendors, employees, and other types of transactions. Click on that to close it. The third area is here on the left, this dark blue area. This is called the left navigation bar. This area is for looking at customers, vendors, employees, for looking at transactions that you have already entered, and for running reports primarily. There's other areas as you can see, sales tax and apps. I'll show you customers. This is the customer center. When you select that, you'll see a list of customers with open balances. You can even select the customer and look up information for that customer and previous transactions. Vendors works the exact same way. You'll see a vendor list, balances due, you select that vendor, you'll see vendor information and previous transactions. Next, I'll show you the transaction area. If you're looking for where you download your bank and credit card transactions, just select banking. This is where you do that. You see all of the pending transactions waiting for you to accept into QuickBooks. Next, you'll see sales. These are all of your recent invoices and payments, expenses. Our expenses will show anything as long as it's an expense. So whether it's a check, a bill, or a credit card expense, even credit card credits, that's all considered expenses in QuickBooks Online. And finally, I'll show you registers. This is where I can look at my bank registers. I can just double click on my checking account. Now I can see my bank register and I can even reconcile here. The last thing I'll show you is reports. Here's where we can run all of our reports. You have a section for all reports, recommended, frequently run, and you can even customize reports. Notice for recommended reports, I can quickly access my profit and loss and my balance sheet. So that was a quick and easy way for getting around in QuickBooks Online. To learn more about me and my services, visit QuickBooksOnlineExpert.com and my blog, 5MinuteBookkeeping.com.